guys, Caleb here. So a number of you guys have been asking me online, uh, especially on Twitter and Google Plus, you know, about what I've been doing on my phone lately. And uh, I keep a very basic setup. I used to use just the stock Google Launcher for the Nexus 5. Now I'm actually switched over to Nova. I went back to my tried and true. Uh, for whatever reason, the stock launcher for the Nexus 5, I loved it and I stuck with it for a couple months, but um, I wanted to switch back to the Nova mostly because I was doing a video review for uh, Dave Cover's new icon set, which uh, I will link to below, but strongly encourage checking them out. They are absolutely gorgeous. And um, anyway, <laughs> I've, I've done a video review on that. I'll put that in the description, but I'm getting sidetracked. So I'll try and keep this brief. I apologize. One of the things I wanted to talk to you guys today about was what I've been doing with the exposed installer. Now, a lot of you guys probably are familiar. I won't get into the weeds here, but um, I do use lots of modules uh, with the exposed, and that's one of the things that I wanted to address here on this video. And I'll try my best to keep it brief. Um, so, app settings is one of the first modules that I installed. And basically what that allows you to do is you can go in, it loads all of your apps, and then you can basically give all those custom settings that you would like. Um, you know, I basically will leave my phone on auto rotate off, but if I open a certain app like, you know, Quick Pick, obviously I might want my screen to rotate or I might want some other unique settings. So, you know, all the set all the apps are there. And let me see. Uh, yeah, I mentioned Quick Pick. Let me just pull up uh, that one real quick. Quick Pick. And so here's kind of like a list of all the things you can change. The DPI, um, the full screen, yes, no, keep screen on. I mean, the, <laughs> it's pretty amazing actually, all the things that you can do. Um, the insistent notifications, big notifications. So. Uh, strongly would encourage checking that out. I'm really not even using that to the fullest, um, but it's a very, very awesome module for Exposed. Crappa Links, <laughs> it's a pretty interesting idea. Basically, it just helps um, all the tracking that goes on with links and when the redirects. So I think that it's very simple in what it does, but I love it. <laughs> um, I, I actually really uh, applaud that. Um, I think that's a really nice module to have. Gravity Box. <laughs> I probably don't need to go into this one because this is, you know, the cat's meow when it comes to Expose. It seems like everyone uses this. Um, if you've ever used a custom ROM, and if you're watching this, I'm assuming you probably have, almost every feature in a custom ROM, Gravity Box addresses. I mean, tons of lock screen tweaks, the status bar tweaks. I mean, I'll go ahead and just click on it. But, I mean, quick settings, blah, 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 blah. It literally does about everything. Navigation bar tweaks. Um, I use Pi controls. It has Pi controls. You have power button tweaks, display tweaks, phone tweaks. The list goes on and on and on. So, uh, one of the reasons why I do not have a custom ROM is because of Gravity Box. It literally does everything that I would want to do in a custom ROM and uh, I mean obviously I've rooted because I've got exposed but uh, I've already got another kernel so I really I can't think of any reason why I would need uh, a custom ROM right now. Greenify is probably another app that you guys are familiar with it basically will hibernate apps so if you're not using them it basically keeps them uh, I'll just say turned off if you will. Um, pretty interesting how it works I can't say if it's been helping me or not, I already feel like I've got really good battery life on the Nexus 5. I'm more or less um, trying to learn it now so I can do a, a review on it later in a little more detail. Hide apps exposed. Now I'd mentioned that I was using the stock launcher for the majority of the time. I just recently switched to Nova. Well, in the stock launcher you don't have the ability of hiding apps but with the hide apps exposed, you can. So you go in here, you just check all the apps that you wouldn't want to show up in your app drawer. Voila, they're gone. I mean, obviously with something like Nova, you can do that already, but with the stock launcher, you couldn't. So um, I love that module. And key guard disabler, all that does is 
if you have an Exchange server um, where it requires device admin policy and you have to enter a four-digit PIN to unlock your phone, it basically will take that away from you. Um, sorry, IT guys at work. Hopefully you don't see this. Um, I also used to do that with Tasker. Uh, if you're connected to like your home Wi-Fi or your work Wi-Fi, you can have that turned off. I couldn't always get it to work all the time. This keyguard disabler has been absolute perfection. Um, highly recommend that if that's something you're interested in. Unicon, this is another uh, module that I absolutely loved, especially when I was on the stock launcher. Again, now that I'm using Nova, not so much of an issue. Um, what it does is it actually will change your um, icons, not just on your desktop or on your, your launcher, but system-wide. So I mean, if you go to share and you see all the icons lined up on the left, you know, it's actually the icons of you know, this. So even though Nova can still do uh, icon changes, it doesn't do it system-wide. Uh, Unicon does. And um, I'm on Lumos right now, but basically if you just select it, you apply it, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward. YouTube Attaway, pretty straightforward. It basically just removes ads from YouTube. Sorry, Google. So that is majority of the modules that I've been using recently. There are obviously tons and tons of modules that I have not been exposed to. So if there's something that you guys are using and exposed that I did not show here, I'd love to hear from you. Put it in the comments. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen, uh, put those there also. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're interested in Android related videos, uh, please do me a favor, help share the word and subscribe. Thank you guys.